What's up everyone, how are you doing there? <clears throat> it's Angry Role Player here once again, guys. And I wanted to talk about this uh, pass by Blizzard was done yesterday, which is called First Look Necromancer Set and Legendary Items. So here we go. I will not just <clears throat> go through all this uh, you know, introduction. So here it is, all the sets of uh, the Necromancer. You know, originally I thought there are four sets, but it's actually five sets, with one of the sets being the two-piece set. But let's start with the first one, because it's called the Bones of Rathma. So, Bones of Rathma, two set. Your minions have a chance to reduce the cooldown of Armor of the Dead by one second each time they deal damage. The four-piece, you gain 1% damage reduction, and the 6 piece each active skeletal mage increase the damage of your minions and armor there by 250 fucking percent. So this is basically the fucking pet set. You just control your skeletons, mages and all this shit and do damage the, all, all through the pets and not through yourself. And look at this. This is the small 2 piece set right here. Jesseth Arms. Two piece when the target of your command skeleton dies, your skeletons are automatically commanded to attack a nearby target. And while your skeletons are commanded to attack a target, all of your minions deal 400 increased damage. So holy shit, this plus this, I know for a fact that it's broken as shit, basically. And it does tremendous amount of damage. It's fucking broken. And it's one of the only sets in the <clears throat> in uh, PTR right now for the Necromancer that is viable in the end game. <clears throat> but let's take a look at another one, Grace of Scenarios. Two PS bone armor damage is increased by a thousand percent. Okay, so this is the fucking you know shield that does air area damage. For set bone armor reduces grants two percent damage reduction per enemy hit. That's okay. A six piece bone armor also activates a swirling tornado of bone, damaging nearby enemies and increasing the damage they take from the necromancer by 2750%. So, so that's basically the bone armor kind of aura uh, that when it hits an enemies, the, the, uh, the enemies they take a kind of huge uh, buff, uh, you gain a huge buff, and they basically take um, hugely increased damage so that's a strange set and I'm not even sure it's kind of, kind of useful on 2700 percent is not bad at all but it does look a tiny tiny like microscopic when you take into consideration the amount of damage that the other skills do like I uh, know um, like impale does 40,000 damage and uh, army of the dead uh, does 40,000 damage and all this but 2700 damage is, doesn't seem like it's very viable for me personally. Okay, Pestilence Master Shroud. Each corpse you consume fires a corpse lance. Four piece. Each enemy you hit with Bone Spear reduces your damage taken by 2%. So this is a damage reduction. You know, very mandatory. The two piece buffs something a little. Four piece gives damage reduction. And six piece basically fucking buffs everything. That's a brilliant design by Blizzard. Six piece each corpse you consume grants you an empowered bone spear charge and increases the damage of your next bone spear by 3000%. So 3000% bone spear. As far as I heard, it's still no fucking damage. It's fucking tiny, small, small amount of damage. I'm not even sure it's, you know, Great Rift 80 or something viable. I think it's dog shit as far as I could hear. Trigul's Avatar, the fourth and the last set. Blood Rush gains the effect every, every, every rune and 4 piece while at full life, your healing from skills is added to your maximum life up to 100% more. 6 piece your life spending abilities deal 3300 3, increased damage by cost twice, twice as much life, your healing increased by 100%. I know that this is like Torment 13 speed farming build for the Necromancer and it's pretty cool. So among all of these as far as I heard, you know, I haven't got a uh, bad invite. I've been completely abandoned. Uh, so the, the only information that I could get is from uh, some data floating around. And I've heard that this 
this is basically the push build and this is basically the speed farming build and that's it when bounce of ratna uh, uh are kind of added with the jesset arm this is where all your damage comes from and the rest are mostly garbage there's also some uh, you know legendaries here blood tide blade death nova holy shit death nova no, oh, that can be some AoE speed farming build, but this is two hander. No, two handers are fucking garbage in this game, and no one will ever use this fucking shit. Funerary pick. Siphon blood drains blood from two additional enemies. It's kind of cool with this with this set. I saw that it works. I saw that that it actually works. Iron Rose. Attacking the Siphon Blood has a 40% chance to cast a free Blood Null. Now this is kind of additional splatter of shit on screen. I don't think this is very good, no. Maltorius Petrified Spike. Another two-hander. I mean, two-handers are fucking garbage in this game. This should be either greatly reworked or completely removed from the fucking game. This is a fucking disgrace in the first place. I mean, why are they still aiding this shit? No one will ever use this fucking garbage here in the first place. I mean, two handers are such in, the, in a, such a fucking terrible state. Uh, they are such in a bad shape, they could be just completely removed from the game and nothing bad will happen at all. Like, people will still play the same shit because one-handed is so much better. So this is it and out of all I think that uh, people will, will use the bones of Ravna and the Jesset arms. And the most interesting uh, um, is here, guys, is here. Is here. So... The Necromancer, uh, the Necromancer uh, will be here before you know it, Nephilim. So what does it mean? You know, I have a susp I'm really suspicious that Necromancer will arrive uh, somewhere, maybe mm, at the end of the next of the current season, season 10, or maybe even before season 11. Uh, like I said in the previous video, originally I thought that they will release the necromancy season uh, 11 but now after all of this information i mean it's basically there so what's the point of waiting for more than a month to give us the necromancer why not give it early i mean what's the point in tying it to the season i don't see the point in this i think that they might release it earlier uh, judging by this known information here so let's hope for this and uh, let's hope that i can start farming this shit already so thanks for watching guys and see you soon